Hi there, I'm Chris for Tippy Club Gaming and today I would like to show you something that uh, I have received for 100 subscribers. Um, finally got a play button. Uh, thank you so much for, for subscribing. At the, the time of recording it is at uh, 115 subscribers. So getting this, this is massive for me. Thank you. So, I want to do something a bit special for my 100 subscriber video. Um, for those of you who know, you know. Uh, for everyone else, uh, I'm not going to spoil it because I'm still going to be making it. It's just, uh, you know, coming back after lockdown will work. There's a lot of things that I need to like, keep my uh, keep it in my head. Uh, things are changing on like a weekly basis, sometimes daily at times. So it's just mentally draining physically exhausting so on my days off and like time off I just I sit down I'll paint a couple of models I'll play some games and you know it's just things for me I uh, just keep my keep my head normal uh, I've been having a bit of problem with some mental health stuff at the minute so that's always good fun and uh, I'm pretty well at the minute so don't worry uh, right what else have I got to say um, yeah thank you for everyone at the minute i'm at 115 subscribers uh, at the time of recording um i've upgraded my camera slightly with a, a better lens um i'm hoping i'm in focus because again it's just me here so i need to kind of focus it by eye from across the room which isn't great uh, i bought a new microphone it's a uh, lapel mic uh, so got it recording through my phone so hopefully i get a bit better audio for you going forward it's the first video where i'm using this um what else i'm recognizing a whole lot of names i keep coming up from comments and like interactions on like instagram and facebook so thank you very much for that uh, i'll give you guys a shout out at the end um so for this video uh, since i can't exactly do what i wanted to do um we're going to be taking a look at things that we've done through 2020 some of the things you'll have seen in my videos some of you follow me on instagram facebook you'll have seen uh some of them you'll have not seen at all because uh, there's something i've got on the painting table which i finished the other day which i haven't uh, uploaded yet so let's jump into that and let's enjoy what we did this year every month I receive a um, subscription box uh, from Asset Drop. I get the Discovery uh, Painting Guide uh, boxes. And inside of them, there are two tutorials for different techniques with two different uh, tiles inside. So from the ones that I've got this year, I'm gonna show you the ones that I'm most proud of or uh, techniques that I've used uh, quite a lot on other projects that I've been working on as well So starting from the very beginning we have January. This was my introduction to the turbo dork uh, color shift and paints and I absolutely love the, these paints now I've been using them for doing plasma effects and stuff like that since I got them uh, I absolutely adore these paints uh, This is like a an alien marker very similar to the uh, the marker from Dead Space and absolutely love painting this uh, it was such a fun one to do and the colour shift and if it I'm hoping it'll pick up fine on the camera uh, but I'm, you get such a good transition effect from it really love these uh, and from there I've ended up buying a lot more uh, a lot more turbo door paints uh, just there's example of three of them there but i've got a, a few more to go with them as well i uh, absolutely love those paints in february uh, one that i'm really pleased with is uh, this emergency hatch uh, using masking tape uh, five mil masking tape to do uh, hazard stripes and the uh, hitaka paints that came with it amazing color for them uh, I've been using the same tutorial for doing a lot of scenery for Necromunda and absolutely love how that's turned out. 
in May. I've got a, this well. I use it every now and then in Carnivale. There's a bit of scenery in that. So I did a, like a marble effect on uh, the base of it. I uh, love how this turned out using Instar Paints uh, Gloss Plus for the, the water effect. And miniature paints, um, like turquoise colours and stuff uh, for the actual water itself. And miniature paints will appear later on as well. Uh, with this one, it's an like old hammer smashed into the ground using rust effects, uh, Green Stuff World rust paints. Um, I really love how that came out in using uh, pencil lead, uh, like filed down to uh, just to give a little bit of weathering as well. I love how that turned out. With this one we're doing. Uh, this is from June 2020. Uh, this one we're doing like a uh, Middle Eastern style uh, skin tones, and I've used this a few times on things like mods for Rumble Slam and things like that. Absolutely adore how the, these paints came out. Um, again, I used Turbo Door color shifting paints to make it look like it was coming through a portal, and absolutely love how that uh, that how that went. July 2020, uh, we're doing obje Object Source Lighting. Um, I love doing OSL, uh, use it for like plasma weapons and stuff. And with this one, we're doing like neon effects on this sign. And I also use the, the Rust tutorial to do this uh, little vent air conditioner thing as well. And I really love how this turned out. In August, using Green Stuff World pigments, uh, fluorescent pigments, to do this Necron style uh, piece. Uh, I want to use it in some games in Necromunda. Obviously I've not been able to play uh, much Necromunda with my brother uh, due to lockdown and uh, quarantines and stuff like that. But uh, this is ready in well and go. And also, it uh, could be quite handy for the 40k starter set I've won recently. So yeah, probably see that a bit more. September. Uh, this one was originally to do the miniature paints uh, yellows, but I wanted to do this uh, Soviet flag uh, using Max Mini's AKs that I bought uh, quite a few years ago now, and I used the miniature paints yellows to do the the hammer circle and the star uh, on there. So. Again, really good yellows on those. Um, I've used the those yellows on a couple of other things since, so uh, that tutorial does come in handy for painting the yellows. In October, both of the tutorial tiles on this uh, as well were fantastic. Um, this uh, skull, very chaos style base, and the uh, the icon in the skull, the texture build up on the skull, I absolutely love doing. And it's given us an idea for doing one for like a, a Gene Steeler cult relic. Uh, so keep an eye out for that in the future. And uh, these serious play uh, tufts are really easy to, to add on and they look really nice as well. Love how this turned out. And all there, the blood effect. Uh, that is uh, Green Stuff World's uh, blood effect with some plastic glue mixed in. And... Uh, yeah, I managed to get some like, like model some blood pouring out of it. I love how that went. Then using some Instar paints, using Extender Plus and a couple of the colours, a blue and a red, uh, to do these, uh, these crystals. I also added uh, Instar's Gloss Plus uh, in the end, just to give it that extra bit of, uh, extra bit of shine. But um, doing wet blending was an experience uh, it's a technique that i don't really use often because i'm not comfortable with it but the tutorial in uh, in this october one was fantastic for it so i love how this turned out and then the most recent one that i've got is the november one uh, using um ammo by mig uh, dio dry brush paints to do like frost effects and also paint this little yeti and yeah, I used the install paints yellows 
uh, to do some uh, model work on this as well. Absolutely love how that turned out. And then we have this orc uh, again using the uh, the dry brush paint from Ammo, uh, from Meg even, and some uh, contrast style paints uh, from War Colors, uh, which hadn't been released at the point of, of this getting done. So it was nice getting uh, that exclusive on there. So yeah, love how this orc turned out. So they're just some of the things that I've painted from uh, from the Discovery Boxes by Asset Drop. Um, absolutely love getting them every month. Uh, look forward to, uh, to whenever they arrive because there's always something handy in there. Uh, a couple of months that I didn't include in here. Um, still great tutorials, it's just they're not techniques that I use as often or the paints that I use as often. But uh, definitely worth checking out. Um, this isn't a, a, a paid ad or anything. I, I just really love how, uh, how big their tutorials are done. Also painted a lot of scenery uh, this year. Uh, some, of the, like, some of the examples. I've got this uh, taco truck. Uh, if I just get this in focus for you. There we are. Uh, this is from TT Combat, it's a MDF kit. Also have some of the uh, the model windows in there as well. This lifts out. I'll just get a hold of that there, and slots into there, so you can have a little canopy on there. But what I'm really proud of was, uh, as well as doing a lot of painting this year, I also taught myself some wiring. So I'll just turn that on there, you can just see the blue light inside. And you've got, okay, let's just get this in focus. Just try and get the red light showing in there. Some red lights and the brake lights there. And we also have these front lights that light up as well. And just got that connected to a battery switch in there and all the wires are inside so I was really uh, really happy with learning how to do that I've messed with doing LEDs and stuff uh, during this year and I really went ahead and just kind of learned how to, to wire properly using resistors and things like that so uh, really happy with how that went painted a lot of scenery for Necromunda uh, this one you probably remember from the video for how to paint uh, the protein reclamate and do gore effects uh, using PVA glue and super glue. So before, uh, be sure to check that uh, video out if you want to make some yourself. Uh, again, this is a TT Combat scenery kit. Um, got this to use in Necromunda, but I'll be able to use it in 40k as well. It'll be pretty gruesome to have. Um, yeah, the blood effects uh, used on the uh, the underside of it, uh, where the pipes connect in, plasma effects on these conduits, a uh, little bit of glow effect, if we can just make that out. And yeah, really love how this turned out, and I cannot wait to get this into a game with my brother. So keep an eye out for this. Uh, also, did a fair bit of stuff for Corner Valley this year. Uh, during lockdown, I got a bunch of games played there, uh, just playing solo, uh, using the Guild versus Rashar. And it would be a lot easier if I just take it apart and show you in pieces. So, uh, the roof, this was like the entire building, minus uh, maybe a couple of little bits here and there, were all painted using the airbrush. And I love the effect that I got from it. Uh, the roof, the tiles, just the, the shading in there and stuff like that. The highlights, love how that turned out. This top floor, got some like metal work done on there. The hinges, I can just get a right line on there. Metal work on the hinges. Uh, the wood effect, really glad with how, like, really pleased with how that came out. And yeah, just really love. How this uh, how this piece ended up and the ground floor again this was all painted with 
uh, with the airbrush apart from like a couple of little bits like the brickwork on the inside there and uh, just on this front step and you know the, the brickwork on the the floor was done with the airbrush i got that really nice transition uh, of colors on there i love how that turned out daily combats uh, streets of venice stuff is unbelievable and can't wait to have a bit more room so I can get some more and make a really good Venice table. And then going back to Necromunda uh, with the uh, the House of Blades book uh, being released for Asher, it won my gang. Uh, I did some of the scenery pieces that you can uh, you can buy in. So you've got like your cam barrel. Let's get the focus right. So you've got the chem barrel, you've got the uh, the sensors uh, for putting chemicals out. Now these were just using some cities of death kits that uh, uh, just didn't paint as lights basically. And then using some cotton wool and uh, just made some smoke effect. And then this one, I love how I, I did this again. There's a bit of cities of death kit in there. Uh, some uh, standard bearer uh, poles or they might have been spears or something like that uh, for the main thing here just use some rivets uh, that I made out of plastic card bits of some swords painted the jewels in and then the actual Escher eye is green stuff which I, uh, I modelled myself I uh, used some skulls some, uh, some like model barbed wire stuff again like ceiling wire and just some bits of sprue that I just shaved down in spikes, heated up over a flame and just like kind of bent them into a bit of a twisted shape that I wanted. And uh, again, got some cotton wool for the sensor. And uh, got these ready so when, the, when my new Asher gun comes into play, I've got some really nice uh, Pretty nice scenery. I can start you uh, buying and using in. Also, I uh, used a bit of green stuff and a washer just to give this a bit of weight, because uh, with, the, with a lot of stuff being quite high up on it, it'd be quite easy to knock down. So, just gotta put a bit of a push on it. But I mean, the weight increased down at the bottom, so it's pretty handy uh, to have in there. Keeping my attention on Necromunda, with the uh, release of House of Blades, it was also the uh, the models that came uh, with that release. So we've got these Death Maidens, which I absolutely love painting. This box set was so much uh, more enjoyable to paint than the standard gang. And I, just, I think it shows how much I enjoyed painting uh, these models. Uh, just with what I, I did with them. You've got this kind of like albino sort of tiger, white tan tiger sort of look to the uh, to the tabards they've got on. Kind of like a bone coloured uh, hand grip on the, the needle pistols and stuff. Love how that uh, came out. And then using those fluorescent pigments from Green Stuff World on the, the claws and on these the kind of glowy packs they've got on the backs as well I absolutely love painting them and with this one I uh, did a test of painting like sheer material so they've got these like this purple skin uh, and then you can kind of just see it on that which I take even further on a model I'll show you soon so with them and then we had the wild runners who are like young Asher, bows, arrows, uh, poison tips. So I used the, uh, the Green Stuff World fluorescent pigment again. And I yeah, love how these turned out as well. And then I painted three of these. I love I love painting these things. These look brilliant. Just, uh, 
really fun to paint. I painted one like a, like a Siamese cat, <laughs> just a bit of fun. Then you've got like a purple and more of a burgundy sort of ones as well. There's one more that I still need to paint, but I'm not sure of a colour scheme for that at the moment. But uh, they were the Asher I've painted. I've got another box of the Asher still to paint, uh, still to build even. And uh, the resin kit for the, making the champions. So I've got like grenade launchers, some more combi weapons and stuff. But I just I haven't settled on uh, like weapon configurations and stuff for my gun yet. Where other than like my starting set, which uh, these are a full. So yeah, that's uh, that's the Necromunda that I've done this year mainly anyway. So a game that I used to really enjoy playing, which I've not sat down and played for a while now, is Mars Attacks by Mantic Games. And I uh, did a tutorial video for the anniversary of Harambe's death, rest in peace bro. And this gorilla was the one I painted for it, who comes from one of the expansions for the game. Um, I'd also painted some of the US uh, soldiers that you get with the game. Uh, I, I bought like a separate pack of them and I just never got round to painting them. So then I painted these guys and they like, compared them to the ones I painted when I first got the game in like what would be like 2015 or something probably. 2014 even. And uh, yeah like the my skill in painting has just, just come on a long time, I'd come on quite a long way and uh, I thought it was really really interesting just to look at like my brush control and stuff like that and I loved how like much more of an eye for detail and things like that. Uh, even just these little PVC, uh, PVC characters where there's not a whole lot of detail well, at least not a lot of fine detail anyway. But like, still managing to get like a really good result out of it. Like just little effects and things I, I put on these ones that I didn't when I did the original ones. So uh, I thought that was quite interesting and just wanted to, to share that a little bit. Now a game I've went so big on this year, it's not even funny, uh, is Rumble Slam. No surprise there. I absolutely love this game. And during lockdown, I did a bunch of tutorials for for painting a bunch of the Rumble Slam models. But uh, I'm going to show you some of the ones here that, unless you were following me on Instagram or Facebook, you probably wouldn't have seen uh, me do. So with this one, this was from one of the Kickstarters that TT Combat did. Uh, it was a Desert of the Dead. And... You got a you could get a Rumble Slam team in that with a couple of uh, superstars as well. Uh, this is Yeetle, and I use some of the turbo uh, turbo door color shifting paints for the the carapace, and uh, absolutely love it. How it shifts from like a purple to a like a golden yellow, it just looks really good. And there's also some of the color shift for the the blue jewels on them as well. And just I uh, absolutely love how this guy turned out. And uh, it's quite fun to play in the game as well. We've got uh, an event exclusive that I found on eBay. And I was really lucky to find this guy. Uh, got, got him sent from America. And it's uh, the Badass Gravedigger. And with Undertaker retiring quite recently at the time of recording this. Uh, I, I sat down and I just painted the badass grave digger. Just uh, out of the memory of an awesome career. They free uh, free handed the uh, the Rolling Bones logo on the back. I just really love how this turned out. Got Triple D who I painted during lockdown. Uh, she's a Kaiser's Palace uh, superstar. Obviously based on Triple H, but as a, a woman. Pretty handy to have in your, your team as well. 
got uh, this guy. Paint them with uh, a like Kenny Omega uh, style uh, like paint job. Love how he's turned out. He's using uh, some color shift paints. These ones are the Vallejo uh, color shifters. Really nice there. Got them on the singlet. Got them on his boots as well. And on his uh, his wristbands. Love that. Love that uh, turnout. One of the newer models. Uh, El Mechanico for Moot Carlo. He's a superstar based on uh, characters from the Grim Fandango uh, game. Love painting this one. Uh, built like a fur texture up using stippling. Uh, same way I did with Calatol. Uh, there's a tutorial for doing like painting horses and stuff on my uh, on my videos, and I use the same technique for for doing this. Came up with a bit of a like, ghost uh, ghost effect technique for this one. I uh, painted them. Um, in uh, like a Rey Mysterio uh, attire and then had this uh, ghost on as well and I love how this effect turned out got Traffic James uh, he's an event exclusive for this year well it's for next year but they released him a bit early uh, use some object source lighting uh, use the same stuff from the asset drop uh, discovery box Love how he's turned out on here. And then his high vis has like some uh, silver and also uh, some uh, pearlescent or uh, yeah pearlescent yellow paint on. So it just looks really high vis and really cool. Another model that I really enjoyed painting. Just uh, using like skin tones and bone effects, and then. A fire like a blue fire effect really enjoyed painting this one just got to use a few different effects on it really enjoyed it then this was the one I was talking about before using the uh, like the sheer material and this model actually got me by TD combats uh, Monday motivation and just absolutely adored painting this thing I was a bit nervous to start with because like I wanted it to like I had in my mind a certain way that I wanted it to look and I was just like am I going to be able to do it and I absolutely got it how I wanted that look even using the the veil and like painting in the facial features underneath so I really love how how this turned out even though like you can see the like the hair lines up with the strand that's coming down as well really love painting this one then for the final ones uh, finished painting these the other day these are a, a, a new release at the time of recording this uh, these are uh, one of the new uh, things that they're doing with uh, they're doing with rumble slam where they're introducing like uh, sort of booster teams for each team these are the the ones that join up with the the orcs like uh, mushroom uh, mushroom team got an orc that's been taken over by one so i've got it where like the orc skins transition into the mushroom one it's like a, a zombie that's uh, being controlled by the mushroom for this guy i've used a uh, some color shift paint, the turbo dark ones on the underside as well, and then using some uh, fluorescent pigments on the uh, this other mushroom. Bit of a glow effect coming off of it as well. Really enjoyed that one. This guy is just a really straightforward one. Used like a, a cold white uh, effect for his uh, his armor, and he's got the mushrooms growing out of it. And then you've got the toadstool peddler and he's got like a really old beaten up leather jacket got like scratches and, and stuff really like how that leather effect came out 
and then some fluorescent effects for the, the glow and toad stools in there as well. I love painting this one. It's been like really stretching my, my legs while painting these, just trying some new things and expanding out what I kind of already had an idea of and stuff, which is what it's all about really. So, yeah. So that's just some of the things we got up to during 2020. Uh, it's been a really good year for hobby because we've been stuck inside for the majority of it. Um, so yeah, thank you for uh, watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing if indeed you have. If you haven't, just give me a subscribe now. It's all good. Uh, let's get me up there 200 subscribers because it's double as good as being at 100. Uh, let me know what you've been working on this year. Either if they go to Instagram, which is at Tippy Club Gaming, uh, go over to Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Tippy Club Gaming, or just leave it in the comments down below. Any of them is great. So uh, let me know, what have you been doing? I'd also like to give a shout out to Billy for making my 100 subscriber play button. Um, love this thing, thank you very much. Um, also like to give a shout out to some of the guys that are quite regular uh, interactions on like Facebook, uh, Instagram and in the comments. Uh, Seth Broadstone especially, uh, you keep me going through, uh, like through paint and stuff, hints, tips, things like that. And it's also great to see what you're working on as well. Uh, Chris Hannon, uh, you're regular for interacting with us as well and it's great seeing what you're working on and just knowing that you're enjoying what I'm doing also that bread recipe great stuff Simon Frayne thank you very much uh, for interacting as well uh, I need to see uh, what you're doing with that fallout board because so far it's looking awesome and because I said I'd give you a shout out Mike So yeah, why don't you leave me a comment down below, hit like on my videos, give me a subscribe, all that stuff, it's all good, it helps me get noticed on here, gets a bit more people uh, looking at my videos, and I can help out a few more people as I go. Thank you.